Hello everybody, my name is Zachary O'Shea, this is Box of Teeth, and every October for the last few years I've gone ahead and shared a home-brewed monster for Dunson & Dragons every day. So, this is your October Monster a Day for October 8th, 2023. So we've made it into the second week of October. Congratulations, everyone. And as I promised at the end of last week, this week we're going to be going over legendary versions of previous Waning Court monsters. The one we're going to start with is a legendary version of a monster that we've talked about before on these videos, which is an uh, Armillaria Dryad. I have a difficulty saying that word. It's a bit tough. And this one's called Honey Hair. As a quick recap, the Armillaria Dryad is a fae whose tree has been infested with honey fungus, which is very close to blood honey, which is one of the big themes of the Waning Court. They have infested strides. They can only move to infected trees. They do have magic resistance. They can still speak with beasts and plants. They do have sticky because the fungus, when they're hit, bursts and it gets stuck to people. And they also have fungal bloom. Um, which is the ability to shoot off all of their spores and the like to poison people around them. So let's go ahead and cover Honey Hair right now. Unlike many of her kin, Honey Hair does not lament her fungal infection. Through careful cultivation of her tree and the surrounding area, she has grown a mane of mushrooms. They spill from her scalp in a foul but glorious imitation of hair. She is quite vain about this feature and has taken on the name about it and will go to great lengths to punish anyone that dares harm her luscious locks. Her connection with fungus goes deeper than that. She can focus on the growths throughout the forest, bending them to her wheel and using them as weapons. Honey Hair can even control base spores, making her a vile villain to deal with indeed. Now, Honey Hair is a challenge rating 3 because she is tougher and more dangerous than her kin. She does have more hit points, her intelligence is higher because she's not fighting the infections, it's not eating away her brain, she has cultivated the way that she looks so she has a higher charisma. As mentioned before, she has infested stride so she can move from tree to tree that has been infested with either fungus or dire flies. She has magic resistance and speak with beasts and plants just like normal dryads do. She does have sticky, so if somebody hits her with a melee weapon, the fungus on her bursts, the weapon has a chance to stick to her body. Even worse, if it's you're trying to grapple or it's a unarmed attack, probably not a good idea. Unlike other dryads of her ilk, she does have multi-attack because she both has claws and hyphae lash where she can summon up a tide of fungus that lashes and hits a target that can actually incapacitate them because of the spores. She does have fungal bloom like the rest of her ilk do, but this ties down into her legendary actions, which we're going to look at below. She has claw, so she can make a claw attack. She has stride, so she can make that infested tree stride, but she also has spore. So the creatures around her that are infected with fungal bloom, which is pretty nasty and fairly close to fairy fire plus a poison effect, have to make a saving throw or actually take poison damage on top of it. Um, so that can be pretty awful to deal with, depending on what your players decide to do and how they want to confront her. All right, well, there we go. The first named version of a previous monster is out of the way. There's one or two more that we've covered before in videos, but the rest are going to be brand new monsters and legendary versions of them that I'll be covering with you. But I wanted to go over a pretty easy one today, even if the word is difficult for me to pronounce. I do appreciate your time and attention today. If you do want to look over previous monsters that I've done for the last two Octobers or hundreds of other horror-themed monsters for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, you of course can always go to boxofteeth.blogspot.com. If you're interested in the other horror role-playing projects that I have that have nothing to do with Dungeons & Dragons or the horror fiction that I write, including Grease Paint right over there, you can always go to www.zachryoshea.com. I hope we have a great week ahead of us, all of us that are listening, and me filming as well. Take care, everybody.